This is a, a, Johnny's working on this, the same as uh, Philip that we who we just looked at over there. This is a second quarter assignment. First time that they do a 6G with uh, with wire. And Johnny's using NR232 while Philip was using E71 T1. It looks like he's about to gouge it. How's it going, Johnny? How's it going? It's gone. That looks awful good for first time with NR232 in the second quarter of the program, Johnny. But now you're gonna knock out uh, gonna knock out some convexity there, huh? Yeah, right on. We have uh, four air arcs, and uh, you can hear one going in the background right now. We do a lot of a lot of back gouging. Tim is in our. Uh, Fourth quarter of the program, that's our pipe welding course. Uh, he's the, the only one in that course this quarter. And he's working on eight inch schedule 40. And he did 6010 downhills until he got that down. And now he's working on 6010 uphill filled with 7018. How's it going? Uh, could be better. <laughs> After he welds this out, he'll take one of those Oki burners and put on here to burn out the joint. Very little waste will be generated. He's only going to cut out a ring about three quarters of an inch wide, inch wide, and then he'll fit it up and do it over again, and he'll keep that up until he gets that down. We have a beautiful slugger mag drill over there, which we use extensively to bore bolt holes in the, in the beams and structural connections. All the toolboxes out here, the students have to provide all their own hand tools and personal protective gear. But pretty much next to where everybody's working, you can see that they all have their toolboxes. You want to go look at that? This is a little fabrication of project that Eric is working on right now. He was outside there, uh, but this is for the auto shop. It's going to be uh, cover the the dyno rollers in the that they have in the floor of the auto shop. We have a nice 20 foot material rack. We built that over uh, a Christmas break. Some of the students did that uh, right before we moved into this building. We've been in the building for just over two years, and. Uh, Two years ago, Christmas, they had to build, uh, build an awful lot of the infrastructure that we see here. Here's where we keep all of our clamps and torches, and uh, we provide three big grinders and uh, a couple of air tools, some air chisels and stuff, but most of the students have all their own. They're required to have their own grinders and so on. Um, but this is so at the end of the day, every, everything comes back here and we can take a real quick inventory and make sure everything's accounted for. Here's a nice sheet metal rack one of the guys built uh, some years back. Um, we use all new material. Uh, the, uh, we're fortunate that we have uh, the money to be able to do that. It allows us to work with an established curriculum where we have, everybody does the same assignments. Uh, in each specific quarter of the program. How about George? Why, hello! George is, George is working on a third quarter assignment, which is a, an angle iron slice. You can see he beveled the end here, 
this other piece is clamped down to the table and he's going to bevel the end. And once it's beveled, he's going to fit it up just like that. And it's not going to move until, he's, until it's completely welded out, top, bottom, and vertical, and then pass the visual inspection for that. And when it does, then he'll cut it apart and uh, prepare samples for constructive testing. Yes, sir. I think a couple more guys popped in. The guys are kind of scattered about the shop. We're probably not to miss anybody. How's it going in there? Another first quarter assignment. He's doing a, there's some vertical work here. Let's see how it looks. Take a look at your work here. Right now he's filling the ends of the joints. These joints have to be filled completely to the end and then uh, they'll be dressed up on the end, uh, ground flat on the end. Hey Todd! Yes sir! This is Todd, what are you working on? Uh, that pipe going through that table. Right on, be sure you have a couple feet sticking out both ends. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta add a little bit out there for to rest on. Cool. I gotta get underneath there. Well, uh, get the birds and metal. Here's the locker room. We have a second. We have a second shift of welders that comes in in the afternoon. This, the, the ones that are in here now, go 7:30 until about 12, five days a week, and then we have a, a second shift that comes in from one until uh, 5:40, three days a week, and one until 4:50, two days a week. And so, uh, anyways, locker room and toolboxes. Yeah, uh, don't have there, right? Can you stop that?